Somalia, among other East African countries such as Kenya and Ethiopia, is on the brink of starvation due to prolonged drought affecting millions of people, especially children. For three consecutive years, failed rains has resulted to low farm production and livestock death leading to hunger and diseases. A visit to Somalia reveals a looming famine if no quick action is taken to avert deaths. In early March, a number of people were reported dead due to the effects of the drought. Hundreds of people have moved from various regions such as Bay and Bakul due to lack of food, water and pasture. Internally displaced people are living in makeshift shelters with no proper sanitation facilities. The realities are, are very haunting. I was speaking with a woman who uh, spoke of how they lost all of their livestock in, uh, in recent months. Uh, the situation is dire, it is grim, uh, but there are folks on the ground who are uh, working diligently to ensure water access, uh, to work on child protection issues, to address gender-based violence, uh, to erect shelter, and uh, to provide high energy biscuits, uh, to stave off starvation, uh, to hopefully last through until the rains come. And if the rains don't come, to build resilience in the community to allow people to survive this season of epic drought. Women and girls are vulnerable and at risk of being violated during such emergencies. Those who report cases are treated, given emotional support and food they are also resettled in other IDP camps to keep them safe from stigmatization. At Baihao Cholera Treatment Center, many families were visiting the center for treatment. This is evident that drought has extensively affected many, forcing them to drink water from contaminated sources, resulting to waterborne diseases like acute water diarrhea. The only available water is contaminated, bitter, and cannot be consumed by either human beings or animals. One of the wells that was serving hundreds of displaced people in Morohaga IDP camp is dry. As such, communities are left with no alternatives but to go miles away in search of this most needed resource. At the main borehole in Baidowa town, donkey cuts queue for almost a mile while they wait for hours for this precious commodity before they finally fill their plastic tanks. In several camps, while Vision is providing malnourished children with nutrition, food supplements and medicine to boost their health. Okay, we are, uh, today we admitted Mohammed. First, we wait him. After that, we measure his work. We give him vitamin A fastly and amoxicillin syrup. After that, we make follow-up week. 8,000 litres of water is the water supply for some 8,000 people in this region. Aid through agencies like World Vision is the best dollar spend I have seen, giving hope, life and a future in a terrible drought a drought that is no one's fault. The drought conditions that we are looking at are extremely serious. 6.2 million people, about 50% of Somali's population, are affected. Of those, 
363,000 children under the age of five years are acutely malnourished. And of those 71,000 who are severely malnourished and at a risk of death, we need to provide immediate livelihood support to 3.3 million people in Somalia and children with urgent assistance in food and nutrition, water and sanitation, food security, shelter and protection. We need to assist very urgently.